spirit of the Lord is in this place. And if whatever you need, you can get it on this morning. You just have to reach out and touch in the name of Jesus. We thank and praise God for his goodness and his mercy, his love and kindness, the grace that he has bestowed upon us. We thank God because this is the day that he have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Giving honor to our pastor in his absence, Pastor Bembry, and all the leadership staff in Jesus' name. If you have your Bibles, if you would turn with me to the book of Mark, the fifth chapter, and we're going to read three verses. Mark 5, 25, and it says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she came, or when she heard, Jesus came in the press and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be made whole. You could be seated in the presence of the Lord. And if I had a subject on this morning, just for a few moments, it would be press on. Press on. For we see that this woman had an issue of blood for 12 long years. 12 long years, that's a long time to be losing blood in your body. And not only losing blood in your body, but you're also weak because you're losing the blood. And when you had that blood issue throughout your body, then that means that you was considered unclean. You're not supposed to be around other people. But in the verse, in this verse here, it says in verse 26, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. It says, and when she heard of Jesus' name in the press behind, and touched his garment, so just want to remind you today, even though we're going through things in our lives, we have to still press on. Even though it seems like the trial and tribulation is there to destroy you, seem like it's there to make you not want to make it, seems like sometimes you want to give up, because 12 years is a long time to go through a situation in your life. But we have to learn how to give God the glory, the honor, and the praise while we go through trials and tribulations. Hallelujah to God. So she had faith to believe that if she just got a chance to touch the garment of Jesus, that she would be made whole. The Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Even though you can't see your way out of that storm, even though you can't see your way out of that financial situation, but you still got to lift up your hands toward the hills from which cometh your help. Realizing your help comes from the Lord on this morning. I don't know about you, but I've been on a trial now for over 30 something years, but I'm not going to let the devil steal my praise. I'm not going to let the devil steal my joy. I'm not going to let the enemy stop me from coming and giving God the praise. God has been too good to me to sit down on God. And sometimes when we go through our trial tribulations in our lives, what we do is we tell everybody else all about our trial all about our tribulation but we don't go tell Jesus first some of y'all need to shut your mouth and stop telling everybody all your business and go to Jesus in prayer he said give it to him and he will be there with you somebody ought to shout hallelujah glory to God and what she did, she spent all that she had. She spent everything that she had trying to get her healing, but she couldn't get her healing. Yes, she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. I don't know about you today, but when you're coming to the house of the Lord, you need to press your way through. Press your way through that sister or that brother that wants to gossip, but you better to press your way through the altar and get your touch from God on this morning. I don't know what you come to do but I come to give God praise because I know he may not come when I want him but he's an old time God yes he is shout glory you got to press on saints of God 
You got to press on just like she did. What she did was she heard that Jesus was passing by. And Jesus passes us by all the time. But some of us, what we do is we sit there because we want to be like a bump on a log and don't want to give God praise. We get upset with God because we're in a test or a trial. That's the time when you need to give God the glory. You need to give God the praise. It says in everything, give thanks unto the Lord. You ought to praise him while you wait because he said I may not come when I want you to but he's on time and what she did was she heard Jesus was passing by and what she said was if I can just touch saints it's time for us to get in the press we got to press on saints even though things are going wrong in our family even though things are going wrong in our house even though things are going wrong in our body but I'm here to tell you to press on press on saints when you can't see your way out press on saints when your money is funny keep on saints when your change is strange you ought to give God glory in spite of what you see in spite of what you hear in spite of what you're going through the Bible says in Philippians 4 and 4 it says rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice you ought to stop murmuring and complaining but give God the glory you ought to stop telling everybody that God can't do it he said I can do anything but fail the Bible says I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me if you can do it if you can make it if he allowed the test to come in your life then you can take it he said I pray put put more on you than you're able to bear somebody ought to shout press on you got to press on saints hallelujah the Bible says I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth hallelujah to God and what she just said, if I could just touch him, but his garment this morning, I compel you this morning to reach out and touch him. Whatever you need, you can get it from God this morning. If you need healing, the healer is here today. If you need salvation, the salvation is here today. If you need the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is here today. If you need a financial blessing, the accountant is here today. Hallelujah to God. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be like Jesus said. I'm going to praise him. Whatever things I go through, I'm going to give God the glory. I'm going to give God the praise. You want to bless him and press on saints. Press on when you can't see it. Press on when you can't fix it. Press on when you want to do something and you can't do it. But press on. Hallelujah. You ought to press on. David said it like this. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. You got to magnify God in spite of what you see, in spite of what you feel, in spite of what you're going through. Stop telling God, I don't believe you can do it. The devil is a liar. The enemy comes to kill steal and destroy but he will not steal my joy he will not steal my praise even though I'm waiting for a long time I'm going to press on press on saints press on saints you better press on Jesus is coming back sooner than we think it's no time to turn the towel in but it's time to press on 